Hey, I'm Tyler. And I'm Katie. <laughs> <laughs> You're God. listening to Nostalgia, the podcast where after a long day of providing for this family, I come home only to be greeted by a man in my house saying, hey, come here. It's my own husband. And guess what he's doing? He's strapping a GoPro right to my head. Katie's wearing a GoPro. <laughs> And it's, it doesn't fit my head, and we, we, I'm really scared. We tightened it as much as we could. And I'm holding my neck real weird because I don't know what to do. It's we like just... when you put a vest on a cat. Oh. Uh. All right, Kate, let's put this GoPro to good use. Okay. Can you, can you describe to anyone who's foolish enough to listen and not watch what I've just handed you? I have a lime green Game Boy. <laughs> can, have you ever held a Game Boy? Um, yeah, I've held a Game Boy. My sister had a Game Boy. Well, do what comes natural. Turn it on. Okay, here I go. That's volume. Uh -huh. This is something called X. I got uh, some kind of apparatus on the top. Oh, oh! <laughs> My head's beeping. Why did it beep? Wait, what? SD card error? No. <laughs> There's cannot. an error happening on the top of my head. Oh! Okay, so I'm turning it on now. On. All right, here we go. Here I am at my Game Boy Nintendo. <laughs> Creatures. Game Boy camera. Have you ever seen this game, Kate? Have you ever played with the Game Boy camera? I haven't, but I know that you have. Oh, I love this thing. Well, Kate, the Game Boy camera was released on February 21st, 1998 in Japan. It's called the Pocket Camera there. June 1st, 1998 in North America. It's for the Game Boy, not the Game Boy Color, which you're playing on a Game Boy Color, interestingly. Um, this actually came out a few months before the Game Boy Color came out, so everything's going to be kind of black, white, and green. Uh, and basically, it's not so much a game as a camera. Go ahead, press A. Try it out. Let's try it out. So let's try to take some pictures here. You want me to take a picture of something? Yeah. What? Try it. This was so cool as a kid. So you want to go into the shoot menu right, here's there? Here's this little girl. Mm -hmm. She's saying, welcome to my parlor. <laughs> Now I gotta shoot this little girl. Hey, it's me! Look, you can take no, a selfie. No, I don't want to no, take it. I'm, I'm so I'm scared. Edit. I'll I'll censor you out. Yeah, we don't show our likenesses on this show, so I will uh, censor this. I don't like this. Go look ahead, at this. Take look a at photo. this GoPro no. on my head. It's like a camera and a camera. I hate this. Save. All right, here, take a picture this of me. Is... Look, turn turn this. Turn, turn this. This is the worst thing to ever happen. <laughs> You look like a Unabomber. Save. Okay, great. All right, I got four pictures left. So you could, oh, so I ordered this on eBay, and creepily, it has whoever used to oh. have it. It has all their pictures. No. Um, how do I get away? B. Get me out of here. Do you like how the pictures look? Who's that little boy? <laughs> Why is he worried? Press B some more. Uh, and go to the gallery, or the view, over to the right. Oh, God, it vomited its face. Take a look. Oh, click, this is horrible. Click on there, and you can look. All right, go all the way over. All the way. These are the other person's pictures. Oh my god, that's horrible. Now actually, go back for one second. Do you think these people are dead? Look at, the, look at this picture down here. I think these people might be dead. I won't show their pictures for their privacy. What does this mean? You must give up all things in the Switzerland. Please not. What does that mean? Tyler, I don't know. Isn't that weird? I think these people are dead. Those are me testing it oh, out. Oh, that's you. But the rest are all this other person. This is horrible. Go to, go to your picture. Go over to your picture. My picture? Uh -huh. Click it. Go to is yours. Is this me? Yeah. Okay, press. It's a picture of me looking like <laughs> SEAL Team 6 with a, a GoPro on my press, head. Press A. This is the worst thing press, to ever happen. Press A. You don't Did, even need to censor this out. This Game Boy censored me for myself. Did. Now, let's add some stickers. Stamps. So this is the fun of the Game Boy oh, camera. Oh, look, I got eyes. Now you can put those over yourself if you wish. Tyler, I'm going to have <laughs> nightmares about this. You can get other ones, I think, if you press start. Start? Start, maybe. Yeah, and you have a whole beautiful menu of stickers wow tyler this is like not right this is weird <laughs> and i just saw people pictures of people who died but you know you have all these different stickers to choose from and then there's even other menus of stickers if you go down further mm, that's nice you know look at this <laughs> this is like what you're gonna see in your bedroom at night before you die <laughs> me with scary eyes and a zippy zippy mouth tyler why would someone make this isn't this cool People are complaining about these Instagram filters. You didn't complain about this, did you? Check this out. <laughs> Check the other one. I'm going to get the other side. Absolutely beautiful. This is the worst thing that's ever been made. All right, get out of here. Press uh, B a couple times. 
You're going to save it. Well, all right, all right, I lied. Not a couple times. Just press it once and then press A to say, yes, you're saving. And then, yes, you're quitting. All right, now you got to play the game. The game? So press B now. Back out. Whoa. Back out again. Down to play. This is what I spent most of my time doing in here. Play. So there's four games you could play. Just don't do anything. Okay. And you'll play the first game, which is kind of like Space Invaders. It's called Space Fever. Yes. So Nintendo released a game in 1979 to arcades called Space Fever, which was a total ripoff of 1978's Space Invaders. And this is Space Fever 2. If you get far enough in this game, the bosses will be photo faces. The first two are just random, like they might be the developers of the game. But the third one is what they call your game face, which you could have made in the menu. And it's a... I didn't think we'd get to the game face. It's a face that is animated by making you take four different face, like pictures of your face in different run, poses. Run, run, run. Now here's the running game. Ah. Try this one. So it's going to use the game face of the people who owned this oh, game God, before these, us. These dead people? But they didn't do it right. They just picked four pictures. You're supposed to take like pictures of you like smiling and grimacing and it would animate. And this is you horrible. know, so it's kind of chaotic. Yeah, these people are all dead. They're ghosts. <laughs> this is like a Japanese horror movie where it's like everyone who ever took a picture on this camera has died. And then. You will die. Hmm. I don't think you're winning against the mole and the bird, by the way. What mole and what bird? Did you see at the beginning there was a mole and a bird? I sure didn't. All right, let's get you out of the race game. Oh, and let's play ball. So just hit B. Go to play. When these things come down, shoot the one that says B on it. This is how you get to the other games. Shoot the one that says B? Yep, that'll play the ball game. Ball. Okay. It's just a man saying ball. Yep, so play it. So this is also going to use that game face. And all you do is go left and right and catch the ball. What? You're juggling. Oh, this is terrible. So this is based on uh, a Game & Watch game, uh, which you've never heard of, I'm going to guess. Game & Watch? Uh, ga game & Watch. Game & Watch. This was a thing Nintendo put out. These were little LCD games. Okay. These were little LCD games in the 80s, and this is a, a version of that. So it's very simplistic. You juggle. What do you think about this one? I think it's dumb. Don't you wish it was your face, though? No. You're still looking at these ghosts. Yeah, I don't want to look at these ghosts. I got 889. You're doing great, Kate. Oh, no, I it was actually just nine. All right, oh, you're out I, of there. I crush. Go back and shoot the one that says Look, D. This is a demon. It went evil. Shoot, shoot the one oh, that... Oh, who's uh, that man? Sometimes there's photos in here that are definitely like the developers or something. Enough. So now do the final game. It's called DJ. This is very interesting, and it has a really big fan base. I'm going to turn your volume on. This Make is your own beat, says the DJ. This is a cool music data. sequencer. So the people who we got it from, they have some data in there, or you could do a new one. Yeah, it's probably their screams as Wanna they play die. Want to Want to hear what they did? No. Okay, then make a new one. I'm Go scared. to the empty one. All right, I'm doing it. If I listen to this and I die, I'm going to be so mad. They made this. I hate this so much. This is their death song. This could be you. No, I'm out of here. All right, make your own. Go over to new. New. All right. So again, it'd be more fun if it was your face, um, but go ahead, make a song. I had no idea how this worked as a kid. I was so confused by this whole thing. We're going to make it fast. It's going to be at 183 beats per minute. <laughs> how do well, I do it? While you're messing with it, I'll tell you that this game was directed by Hizurkazu Tanaka, who is primar primarily a music composer at Nintendo, which explains why this is such a big part of this game, but he led the development of the Game Boy Camera. But how do you start it? How do you make it? It's a game cartridge with a camera that can swivel around to take selfies. That's an early example of selfies. How do you do it? And it was made by Creatures and Game Freak. Game Freak, of course, also made the Pokemon games for the Game Boy, which is why you might have seen some Pokemon uh, stickers in there. All right, how do I make it? I have no idea. Kate, I never understood this as a boy. I couldn't get into it. Oh, look, I got it. Isn't this, like, pretty complicated? Like, this, there's a whole scene online about people who are into using this to, to make music. Because it's, uh, it's interesting. You know, so it's another tool. That a lot of people had as kids on their Game Boys. <laughs> All right. Play it. How do I do it? This is dumb as hell. Exactly how I felt as a kid. No, get me out of here. All right. What'd you think? This was confusing and scary, and I didn't like looking at other people's <laughs> ghost pictures from the late 90s, early 2000s, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't understand how to make music, and I didn't know how to run, and I also didn't know how to shoot people with my spaceship. Could you? I'm unwilling to learn. Could you see this being interesting as a as, as a child? Think about child Katie, young Katie. I know you weren't a Game Boy player, but the ability to take photos with it is pretty cool. Before you might have had a camera, you know, a digital camera. Certainly, no, you're, you're um, not convinced. I'm not convinced. I was also scared when we got our first digital camera that there was like some kind of finite quality to the digital camera, right? Like you know how you could only take so many pictures with a film camera. I was like, oh, we better not run them out. Oh, you thought, oh, yeah. Oh, well, the Game Boy camera, you can only take 30 pictures on, so that's true, and it was almost wow. full. see? Uh, but you could, like a real digital camera, 
delete them and you may take new ones. Did you like having a, a disposable camera as a kid at all? I mean, I had like a film camera, like a little kid film camera. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I liked it a lot. You enjoyed it. So yeah. I, I thought, you know, I was wondering if maybe you'd like this, but the answer is clearly. I was I was mostly no. scared as a 33-year-old woman, but maybe as a child <laughs> I would have been into it. I, I, can, I can't tell. I think I was mostly scared because I was in that, that GoPro harness. Yeah, sorry. I just really was trying to figure out how we could give you the authentic Game Boy. Normally we emulate these games mm. on a computer and then it doesn't matter, but I really want you to get a Game Boy in your hands because you can't really emulate the Game Boy camera, the camera aspect. Uh, so I figure, how would we be hands-free? Anyway, long way of saying, you probably won't wear that ever again on no, this podcast. Probably but not. Uh, it made sense for this. Okay, so Game Boy Camera didn't change your life. No. Um, sure. That's fair. Well, I'll just give you the quick uh, the quick background here. We covered who made it and all that. Um, I just want you to know, Kate, I had a Game Boy Camera. I loved it. It was so mind-blowing to me, putting my own face into the stupid game, you know, have, doing that game face thing. I mean, I wish I had mine, but... I left mine on the floor in my room one day and I accidentally left the door open and my little dog got in and chewed it up and destroyed it. Dang. And for some reason, it never occurred to me until now, all these decades later, to replace it, like to just get another one. <laughs> um, but I was so upset. I was so sad. But I used to play it all the time. You could also get something, Kate, called the Game Boy Printer. And you could, you know, that port you were looking at on the side, you could plug a cord in there and print these out as little like one inch by one inch. They were on thermal paper, like a receipt. Um, it was kind of dumb. You could print the photo mm -hmm. now that again would as a child i'd be stressed i'd be like how much printer paper do we have you buy a little roll of thermal paper and uh, it lasted a long time anyway there's the game boy camera kate thanks for uh thanks for trying it out i know the gopro is off but the only other thing i want to show you real quick is this game boy has been modified to have a backlight here's what a game boy looked like without the light just look go ahead try and play it for a second mm -hmm. that's what the game boy was like why do, Why can we, we as millennials should not be able to see? How did anybody deal with this? I guess I should have done Is that it while because the I'm old? camera was on. No, it's not. I remember being in the car at night, like, like you'd only be able to see when a street light would go by. You know what I mean? This is why they made the worm light and stuff that you could attach in the side. But I mean, you really truly can't see it. I try to get it in the light. That's what And you got to like. hold it at a specific angle yeah. so it doesn't get the glare. It's crazy. This is terrible. That's what it was like. So that's why I got this modified one that somebody added a light to that's why your neck hurts all the time isn't it i look is there like a class action lawsuit yet on tv did you play a uh, game boy color anyway all right kate thanks for trying the game boy camera i i didn't capture your imagination huh no surely not i don't know why i thought it might but once again don't I was wrong. you dare take a picture of me with it i don't want to join the souls of all those little children <laughs> yeah look at my eyes they're empty well kate the game boy camera don't do it. Time and money well Don't spent. Don't let it take your soul. How, how much money? Tune in next week. When it's least expected, you're elected. You're the star today. Smile. You're on Game Boy Camera. It's fun to look at yourself as other people do. How's your sense of humor? There's a rumor laughter's on its way. Smile. You're on Game Boy Camera. With Game Boy Camera, you can turn photography into photography. Smile, you're on Game Boy Camera.